probably have a different. I mean, I think I have a different opinion than yours on it. I think it's. I, I just think, like overall, my opinion of the dungeons is. It, it improves some, but I I, I find it weird. And the good ones are still the good ones. So. Yeah, it's like a null change at the end of the day, because like, are people going to actually go in like? Most people are going to just do the few that were already good, so it's like... It, it just seems weird. Um, yeah, I feel that the change is not that big to make someone that wasn't playing the game for a week or something. Just yeah. come back and feel like, a, oh my god, now I feel the game is amazing. Yeah. Just you just stop playing because you feel the game... The ring from the game, the momentum wasn't good. Yeah. This is not gonna change. I've liked what a lot of people are saying though. The more that more that people get to play it, the game, they are like the the problems do wear and tear very quickly. It quicker for some than others. Like I still just find the overall pace too slow for my liking. Like it, and I don't even know if more monsters would fix it. I think it's a problem with Nightmare Dungeons the way they've built them. But I mean, if they're ditching them, which they said they are. And it's obvious from them hiring a whole new team to develop seasons that they something is so, they they want to change something. So yeah, I think the current yeah. state of stuff is pretty much done and dusted. Is like the sad part about it is like we're literally two and a half weeks into season one, and they basically just have to eat everything they have and go again because it's obviously not doing it. It's obvious by it's obvious by overall review now and by just the numbers that it's not do, it's not work it didn't work and I don't think the patch really I mean I guess it'll it's already two and a half weeks into a season anyway into a seasonal game so like you don't really expect like uh, even like by a month in like you don't expect the majority of people to still be around but. I don't think this patch this patch wasn't meant to save things. This patch was meant for them to gather more data. Mm, yeah. Okay. So it's like a one step of many they need to yeah. improve for the real changes long term. It's copium, but like the really only logical follow up is that this patch wasn't supposed to save anything. It was supposed to get them more data and to put stuff in more of a workable position so that they can make season two and beyond better. That is the copium, but that's also the only logical conclusion other than that they don't have any idea what they're doing and they're all running around like the place is on fire. <laughs> and I really hope it's not the option. I really hope it- <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, they hired a whole new, a whole, a whole new list of people, yeah, I mean. They're doing a bit of house cleaning and the house is on fire. But... It's, I hope they, they didn't kick through the window the dude that came yeah. out with the good ideas. Yeah. I just think it's... It's a work in progress, basically. Like, we're, we're waiting until they find... the we're, we're waiting until they give us the quote-unquote good patch. Like, we're, we're waiting until we get that patch, is what I think is, like... I don't mind the base of the game. It's it's fine to me. It's just like there's not a patch like we haven't had any sign yet of a patch that's going to be the oh boy it's it's juicy now. I will play Sork probably next season though for sure. Probably same. I'm probably starting Sorcerer next season. I hope to get. I mean, also I I haven't played PoE in a bit, so like me, I'm looking really forward to playing the PoE League to get some context again of how I yeah. feel about the different games, but... <laughs> well, what I'm gonna feel, and I really, I already know that I will feel it, that during the campaign, I wanna hate myself more than ever. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm 100% sure that I will hate myself. Yeah. I do know just from watching a little, watching people play though, like I am like, yeah. Quality of I life is not. Yeah, 
I, I saw Titan Killer practicing. And yeah. Like a, I don't know. I watched like a two minute, hmm. and I had to stop. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's like I don't like leveling anyway. But like, the quality of life, like the stash, the trade, like I'm just. I want that so much. Like, it's not even that good. Like, they're still missing a lot of quality of life and trade quality of life in PoE, but it's still so much better. Like, invent like I, I can't tell you how much I do not like the imp. They do do one dungeon, teleport out of dungeon, stare at every single item in my inventory, or like ninety percent of them, sell to vendor, and run back in. I I just. It it's it stops it, it slows the pace too much for me. It's too much of a stop go yeah, stop like, go. Because all the rares are valuable. Because all the rares can be valuable. And I do know that some people appreciate that. I think it is. I, I, I am one of those. I, I like yeah, the, I think there needs to be a solu There are solutions to having rares be valuable, and allowing for quicker town routines and. Or I guess not tower teams anyway. It's just less stop go, and one of those is better town layouts. Like that is like step one. I will take just better town layout. They're not gonna change the layout from the towns. So yeah, but they could give us a hideout. The way to, or... Yeah, the hideout is the only way. Yeah. But it's a it's a problem because if you get a hideout, you get rid of the town. Yeah, that's the yeah. But it has to be a thing where they have to realize that, okay, our idea for the towns isn't working out, so we need to adapt, and we need to make the be the gameplay experience better by just working on hideouts. I mean, also, th then they can just open up an avenue, they can just sell cosmetics for a hideout, like, it's, yeah, they bad. lose, they, they lose a bit of the... I like I don't lose him a lot of money from that, because even I, the, I don't like to spend money on the game, if I... If I watch, I don't know, I see something really amazing to put on my high elf, yeah. I will spend money on that. Yeah, oh. people will, and people like hideouts and stuff. I think it's successful. I think that they just don't, I think as developers, they don't want to let go that quickly of yeah. the... They, they want to wait like a one year before... Yeah, they want to get their time out of what they built, but like, sometimes it doesn't work, so you gotta improve. Yeah, and I, th I feel like they, they need to let go the in-game experience, leave the in-game experience, like uh, the realistic side of the game for the people that actually want to enjoy that. It's like, a, I want to enjoy that when, meanwhile I'm doing the campaign or meanwhile I'm just, I don't know, moving yeah. around between the map, doing side quests, that kind of stuff. But, when I'm trying to do dungeons, I, I want to do dungeons. Yeah. It's like, it's I'm, just... I'm not mad about, like, a get to be on the dungeon, then go back to town and go again to the next dungeon that is somewhere else. Yeah. But, like, a uh, from my high out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just... Just some way to speed up the town routine would be amazing. And also... Like, another issue is that it, you can have... Okay, they were really proud of themselves for doing this whole all items are two slots thing. I think that that was a mistake. I think the inventory... Like, I think everybody can agree inventory... All parts of our inventory are too small. Stash and equipment. I think there should be ways... I think it's also just, like, a cool mechanic in a game to, like have ways to increase your loot your like character carrying capacity i don't think that that is something that is like should be ignored i think that having ways to get more inventory space is fun and preferably they wouldn't be paid but i mean i guess they could be <laughs> i just yeah they could be um... they actually could be um... Yeah, I, I know the problem with the loading all the inventory. Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah, we have limitations on that end. But that should be something that they shouldn't have done and should fix. That is a, this didn't work, we need to fix this solution. Oh, but I think what's really dumb from the beginning. Oh, yeah, like, I mean, I don't, I don't know why they... 
That's a, that's a thing that D3 had. And, I mean, it doesn't matter in D3 because you only load three other players, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. But it's still weird. <laughs> it's still weird that it even did it in Diablo 3. But I think that, like, until we get the patch, like, I don't know if it's all going to come at once either, right? Like, it might be a slow feed of, of them realizing how to fix these things. Because, I mean, obviously, we have no idea how they work internally there. What what team actually does what? If there's even, like, is there a team that just worries about, uh, in, like, player storage, stuff like that? Is there, or is it all just one clump? And they just get to stuff when they can. You'd hope that they're Blizzard and they have a shit ton of people that they would get more stuff done, but obviously they can't even make the unique changes work correctly, so I mean, mm. uh, we've we've lost physical da non physical damage on our amulet now. We're cooldown. I wonder if they messed up any of the other barb one the barb ones or anything. Well yeah, um, this is the first one I see the Mess it out. I didn't drop the I didn't drop either I didn't drop either the necro ones so the, the other one from row was uh wind force yeah I didn't drop yet so but this is gonna be one in a million I'm lit that is the only one yeah <laughs> that don't have <laughs> so bad, man. yeah so bad. I such a weird you only need to do one thing yeah, one. you had one, literally one job. Now they fired that guy. They let him go. He was like midway through the process. He was like, oh, he's like, they're like, yeah, this is your last day in the office. And he was like, and he was like, fine then, fuck your amulet. It was like a, uh, yeah, 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 go, go, go next, no, go next, go next. He didn't even read. <laughs> yeah. Doing... And somehow that got through oh. the qual. Like, somehow that got through Q and A too. They were like, they were like, literally just had, they literally just had to read the item, and they were like, meh, yeah, yeah, good enough. <laughs> they didn't even pull out the patch notes. They, they didn't. Actually, okay, that, that was the, the worst roll, the, the worst stat of the amulet. Uh, yeah. You, you keep the worst stat, and, but you get the, the even worse one. <laughs> yeah. And it sucks it only goes to seven cooldown, too. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the... The, oh, is that the normal number. now? That's the new number, yeah. Yeah, yeah because it's scaled to 10%. Oh, true. <sighs> also, we gotta hope that they have an idea for... I still know that's going to be an issue. Sork defense is still an issue. I can assure you that from their changes. It was not good enough. I don't know. They, they got a lot of damage with a lot. Yeah, but they don't actually use those sources. At least for, at, at least for Ice Shard, the the one good change they got was to the unstoppable power, giving them armor now. But I still think the number being only ten percent is a little too low, twenty or thirty, because it's like it's got like a sixty percent uptime with its duration. So it's like it could at least it could at least be like twenty or thirty. Also, I mean like we're, there there's always going to be an issue until the all res thing gets sorted. But the band aid until then is to give them. Or, I mean, again, it's just a thing of, like, they'll probably have that change by Season 2. Really, like, I would hope. Like, it, like it, there are certain things, like, if they can't fix by Season 2, you're just kind of, like, you just kind of throw your hands up in there and be like, well, what, the, were you, what were you doing then? <laughs> what were we fixing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, maybe if this is... Let's move this Never mind. My, my concern is that that team they hired is for three and two is already pretty much locked in but i have to see i don't know uh no i i don't know i don't know anymore because after i see will be uh changes could be changes because uh they know they, they the inver the inversions is not, not gonna handle another bad season yeah so like uh they need to sell more and for selling more they need to do something with the end game. They they need to do it. Yeah, I mean it's the problem of the game. Yeah, they had the buffer for season one because they already sold all the battle passes with the yeah. with the with the launch of the game. But like, yeah, for season two, like they, I mean, like 
if season two doesn't work out, like you're like Blizzard's like Blizzard would probably look at pulling the plug on <laughs> two development teams, especially. Like it's just like yeah, like you gotta have you gotta hope that they get something fixed, or it's just like well, uh, when does a Poe two come out again? <laughs> <sighs> I did. Li I do like the change to removing those absolutely terrible Nightmare Dungeon A fixes, but there's still like five or six more I would just get rid of. Uh, I'm glad Backstabbers and Resource Burn are gone though. Like they're just not good. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's not that bad to have bad affixes. It's like a, you kind of have like a. It's good to if you're going to do a high number danger, high high tier, to read what I'm do, what, what are you doing? It's like, yeah, I just think that like I think for instance like death, I think death pulls and I think the storm, affix are just like the rock is honestly okay, but like I think that the shade is I think annoying. I think death pulse shade, and the lightning dome are just. They're not well. They are not well designed. They are not designed for a fun experience. They're not even designed uh, for a like read. Designed to be the pain in the ass. The dome, the lightning, the lightning dropping from the sky is really bad design because it slows so much your experience. And yeah. that pull is like uh, impossible to do for any melee. Yeah. It's also just. It's also just impossible to- it also just makes it so even if you're a build that's like kind of mid-range, you just like can't walk forward. Uh, I don't know. As a, as a range rogue, I never had issues with that post. Yeah. Like a free, free dungeon. But Lightning Storm is, is the worst in, in experience and Shade is- the, the thing about Shade is if your build is like a high, unstoppable, Uptime like a bar through it. Yeah. Shade is not a bad. Uh, uh, Wario do all the chase. Uh, <laughs> Boiler do all the chase. Yeah. Without any. She's so goddamn annoying. That fucking days. Oh. <sighs> She's being fucking silenced. You're like, yep, yeah, this is good. Uh, ne Necron row. Well, uh, sorceress as well. So cross has the problem too. Yeah. Yeah, but for sorceress, at least you have the shield. The, the barrier unstoppable effect to you. Yeah. But rogue, the only the only source of unstoppable is the shadow clone. It's like a shadow clone passive mm -hmm. or the concealment. Concealment is really good. It's almost mandatory now because of that and because of the healing. My concealment healed me 1.5k per second. <laughs> That's pretty good. How much life do you have? Uh, 13k? Yeah, 13 k quite a bit. Oh. Um, I know that they said they were also work. I know that they also mentioned they were going to be working on- They are going to implement, uh, reduced costs to reroll, like, gear itself, and I- I hope- I would have hoped that that one would come before season two, but I guess we're just waiting for season two for that patch. I mean, we know yeah, what day fine. we know when season two is supposed to start. I mean, all right, it's uh, what is it? It's October seventeenth is the end of the season, and the next one will probably just start on like the twenty second or something. Yeah. Or the next, yeah, something like that. It's in the character select menu. Hang on. Where does it say it? It says it somewhere here. Uh, yeah, 17. It's a Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it might even be a quick... I don't even know how long they said downtimes are going to be. It might even be that the season one ends on... One week, probably. My guess would be if they really were... I mean, they could manage... 17th is a Tuesday, and the last one launched on a Thursday. I don't know if they turn that around that quick, but it'll probably be the next week. Yeah, it would probably be like the 26th. Yeah, yeah, so they do like a, in D2 and D3, they do like a dab, like yeah. they do the patch and then one week later. Yeah, it's usually the, a week. The season already starting, so, yep, I I guess it's going to be like that. Yeah, it's just like, you're looking at, I, I doubt there will be another patch of substance 
in this season. Uh, Maybe one more during during. Probably one a small fixing the stuff, changing one or two things. Yeah, I doubt there will be any like adjustment, like build adjust, like balanced adjustments as they did on this scale. No, no, no. Until season two. No, that that's gonna be like a season two patch, and yeah. I hope they do a really big one. Yeah, I mean, from this patch date, we're looking at like. Honestly, they'll probably announce the next season a week before this one, the current one ends. Like they did, like they did with the preseason, they gave it like a week or so. It's so like you're probably looking at exactly two months before any more. We actually get any more info on like what the state of the game is going to be. And I don't know. Like we saw how fast the numbers have declined. I don't know what the hell is going to be around in two months, but I guess that's the point of a seasonal game. You hope it endures. I would go buy another boots. I think with 20 million, I can get a GG one. I think that my experience from playing Necro though is that it's a lot better. It has it's in a way better state on than Sork on its basically it, it has a lot of build diversity. Yes, a lot. And all of its builds work. Minions are undercooked. And no, 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 that, that, that's not true. Minions, they they work because of a bug. Green. Yeah. They work because of a bug. Two bugs, actually. And without them, I think that they're still too annoying to build. I mean, and by too yeah, annoying, I, I mean that they are not... They are, like, good till level 15, then not good again until you get gear for them at level 85. And it's like... Yeah, for, for 80. 80 plus. Yeah. yeah. With, it's, the Paragon, with the Paragon Bore, actually. Yeah, it's like... That's... Necro, Necro overall is like that, so... Until you complete your second Paragon board, you don't start feeling good again. Yeah. I mean, my Blight build, like Shadow Blight, I think is just solid. All, all the way through, it's, it's solid. solid. It it's honestly solid. is the worst. It honestly feels the worst at Nightmare Dungeon 95+. plus. Like, I can pretty much chill in anything from, like, yeah, not, like anything till 90... 92 93 i can pretty much chill in with this current build also at the lower tiers i can put on lidless wall and man i really hope they add some more stuff for that i think i think i was happy they did talk about how they how they might go away from ultimate skills being so much downtime and i'm like thank you because like bone storm is actually a cool skill and like it, it yeah. the ultimate skill category was a cool idea but it was it is not done that well especially like sorks ultimate skills are a disaster honestly unstable like they're all skills that you that like the class needs up most of the time and they're not which is unfortunate well rogue and sork have like a same skill in terms of what it does so like a death trap and the inferno do the same thing they yeah. can just pull the monsters and add a bit of more damage. Mm -hmm. Unstable current is like a build enable for arc. Yeah. Um, in case of rogue, like a shadow clone is more like a defensive ultimate skill. Like a, you get like a, a bit more damage and yeah, it's like deep burst. freeze. Yeah, and uh, and. Unstoppable is the the big reason you use the the clone is because it give you five seconds unstoppable. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's like a it's stupid. And rain of arrow is yeah, it's, deep freeze is better than rain of arrow by far. Yeah, right. I really rain of arrow is a letdown, dude. But it's so cool looking. It's so yeah, but do one hundred percent damage. I know it's they they it's just it's like a skill like it should like like. For instance, unstable currents should be something on lightning sword that like that like you should be an unstable you should always be unstable currented when you are invested into your build. Like it is a it is basically it should basically be a passive. And then yeah, so, so how, so, yeah it, it needs to be or more legendary power related to that. Yeah. Like a, 
I don't know, for Rogue, uh, every time you use uh, unstu- uh, in blue and a skill, you get unstoppable for 6 seconds. So yeah. Something like that. And then for like Necro. Or Necro's Necro, missing. Necro need unstoppable. Need something that gives it <laughs> unstoppable. Like a bone armor. Meanwhile, you're in bone armor. You get unstoppable. Or, or yeah. Necro like is missing. Like, Necro's army of the dead is. Ugh. And uh, Blood Wave is. Blood Wave has a use. I just don't think it is. It's, it's not the real skill. Man. Yeah. It's really bad. The, the ultimate for Necro is Bone Storm. And it's yeah, like, when you only have one ultimate, yeah. you should probably think about. Well, Adjust. Sork had two, and Sork had like a. Sork really. Well. Sork, yeah, Sork has two. The, um... the problem with the Druid and Barb, they just have one. Yeah. They just have like a Berserker and Furry Berserker. Yep, the Furry Berserker. Yeah. Wrath, of, Wrath of the Furry. <laughs> <laughs> Wrath of the Furry. Yeah, Wrath of the Berserker, Wrath of the Furry, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm missing something. Oh yeah, and and Necro one. Yeah, Necro has just Necro has I am, I am Storm. Yeah. I really. Super Saiyan Storm, Bone. Yeah. Super Bone Saiyan. I mean, Bone Storm looks really cool too. Yeah, it's a really good look. I wish they had um. Again, it's just like it's so close to being. Again, it's just, they didn't they didn't think about actually having the ultimate skills do damage all the time yeah, they, or they be. Should do. They should, uh, yeah, but it's like if you don't have ultimate skill with a good uptime, like Diablo three, like uh, Immortal King, just reduce the cooldown. Or yeah. Whatever. Or like Archon ways to reset Archon. Uh, N- Natalia, so whatever. Yeah. Um, if you don't have that. Just make them really strong. Yeah. Ridiculously strong. Or just give them a multiplier that make them ridiculously really strong. Like a, I don't know, a multiplier for rain or arrow that actually do five times more damage. Something like that. Yeah. Something to where it actually feels worth to be on your bar. Yep. The problem, I mean, honestly, the, the, the biggest issue. Necros almost feels that strong depending on your bar, but the reason why we absolutely have to have Bone Storm on Necros is because it's like our only source of DR that we can kind of keep up sometimes. <laughs> like on a DR skill. And crit chance at the same time. Yeah. It's, it's a big buff. It's like a 10 crit chance or 20 crit chance? And it's 20, yeah. 20, 20 crit chance, 15 DR, yeah. 15 DR is big. 20 crit chance is a lot. Man. Yeah. This is really a lot. Dead Trap is. It's like a pool. <laughs> I just pull yeah. and well, have two fifty percent damage. That that looks big, but to be honest, it's not. It's not that big. Yeah. The damage, it's not that big. I hope to see some, like in season two. I hope we get a lot of. I hope we get a lot more. Uh, a lot, basically, a lot more aspects. Honestly, I I would hope that there are some more aspects. That, we have more aspects that, that gonna yeah. come over the time. I also think like, that there should be number adjustments done to plenty of the aspects we already have. I, I feel I, I'm like the numbers, like uh, get 20% to 40% range. I like that range. It's, it's like a number. I'm, I'm not even a problem with like the num- those numbers. I have a problem with the duration of a lot of the buffs. <laughs> Being like two or three seconds is so. Like, but like what? Like, like which one? Um, uh, my like for uh the defense one for disobedience, it lasts like oh. three seconds. Disobedience oh, is like three. Four seconds. Four, four seconds. Yeah, disobedience is four seconds. My uh. Six seconds. The basic. One. Yeah, I haven't gotten a perfect six second one to drop yet. I have five. Uh, I dropped one today. Like uh, playing with you. <laughs> yeah. And then like Five, uh, my know. for instance my shadow by plowers it's like those are like three seconds duration and i think oh, one yeah. i think one ramps to six over time but it, again it it's stacks decrease and then you have to build them back up and it's like i just want my buffs up and like i know barb has that issue too where like barb is constantly fighting against this like four second ramp up and down and like it's it's not fun 
people just want things that are a little bit a little bit more rogue <laughs> mm, no but ro rogue buff like that they are the same like a, a stutter step is four second duration uh momentum stack mm. lasts like a three seconds yeah. no Oh, no, it's, it's eight seconds. Okay, yeah. momentum is fine. Eight seconds. Yeah, I think more thing like they they did buff that one thing on Barb to be eight seconds, and it's like they took it from four to eight, and it's like, yeah, that, yeah. That, like to me, eight seconds uh, oh. feels like a good base. Basically, if I could take all of the durations that I've experienced on my Necro buffs and my Sork buffs, if I could double them, I feel like we'd be getting somewhere, at least fifty yeah. percent increase. Well, for example, here second win. Lucky like kick chance increase by five seconds. That's kind of okay. But there's a three chance here for trap, four seconds. Two, yeah. Too short. Crit hard shield, uh, crit chance and con concussive, three seconds. <laughs> like, Diablo D3 has a lot of issues with how big the numbers got for damage. But, like, in terms of the duration of buffs. Even there's there's still some in Diablo three. They have still fixed even as or even as recent as last season. They're still realizing that they need damage reduction buffs and utility buffs to be longer. Like right now, I think the shortest ones we have are like I think it's about eight. I think it's eight or ten are getting to be the shortest duration buffs we have for damage reduction or quality or like utility. And like that's that's fine. Like eight to ten seconds feels good. It doesn't feel like you're constantly. You're fighting more more all the time almost yeah you have a lot, really good uptime fighting yeah <laughs> yeah I, Paragon. I don't remember if there was like a duration buff durations besides the moment oh. speed after kill elite or something like that i think the only duration thing in the game is shrine buff duration <laughs> <laughs> They could even make buff duration a generic stat. Put it somewhere, but I would prefer it just be a change to the base feel of the of all class. Like I'm not, I, I think all classes can get there. There is space, and I'm sure I'm not an expert on druid, and I'm not an expert on barbarian or rogue. But like, there is surely space in those classes for dur for durations of buffs to not be to be to be bigger for example legendary now eldritch bounty when you attack with the imbuing skill you get 20 percent resistance for that element for nine seconds yeah that's good yeah oh what was the yeah the uh my what was it my outload in? my corpse yeah, explosion you have like a nine seconds cooldown on the woman skill anyway so you can you can actually do like a up up time like a almost 100 yeah. almost. was my there's a there's a board for it on necro i remember looking at it once it has the one of my legendary nodes yeah it's this one flesh carver two five corpses grants 40 percent increased damage for six seconds really good note insane multiplier but even six seconds i can my buff will fall off between doing things and i have to i'm just missing a multiplier and i have to restart the like the blender and i i it's just it's so awkward because like that if you're gonna give a node 40 percent damage on a build that has to consume corpses to deal damage and continue and continue maintaining buffs it's just I like know, I, I feel like it's really easy to up time that one actually you can you, you you can get in two seconds the buff um it's, it's not a snapshot so you can actually yeah. do a lot of damage every time you set that just because of that it mostly like that's the problem it mostly falls off between 40%. Yeah, it mostly falls off between between like running to stuff which is a problem for i mean i'm, I'm basically a dot build so yeah, that, that's why I feel like it's no problem for you at all. I, I feel like it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I haven't looked at it either. Here, exploit weakness. Uh, when, whenever you do damage to a vulnerable enemy, take increased damage from you. Uh, Pineapple, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Whenever you do damage to a vulnerable enemy, they take up to 15% increased damage for 6 seconds. I feel like that should be the minimum duration. Mm -hmm. For everything. It's like a 3 seconds 
buff. What is that? Yeah. I think the moment of speed for the necro is like a three seconds, right? He has three. So stupid. <laughs> yeah, I also that's that is another one. The boot affix. For once the movement speed for one second, I would compromise with taking this number down. Like the base number of aid grants movement uh, speed for one second. I would be okay with that becoming like fifty or forty if it was for like six seconds. Because yeah, I'm giving up the seconds is okay for like effect because this is uh the the evade cooldown is like a four seconds. It's six. Six. Yeah. yeah. I'm oh, yeah. Half, half of the time, like a uh, three seconds, half of the time. I feel like if you're on ancestral tier gear and you're choosing, cause like you're and you're choosing to go for this boot affix for the movement speed, that if you made it like forty, and it was up. And it was a buff that you could keep up by evading off cooldown that it should be something you could get to. I feel like having, or at, or at minimum, like a minimum four seconds. I would I would take anywhere from four to six seconds for this buff. Uh, I feel like a six seconds is, is not it's not correct because it's, it's conditioning the boot to be like a, a perma buff you're using all the time. And yeah. The babe is... Like, a, you change the way the bait is working. Um, but I feel like a between 3 and 4 seconds should be okay. And reduce the like, uh, fire star, fire aggress, be 50% instead of 75. Yeah. Something like that. Base 30, 30, 35, something like that. Yeah. And we can get. So get like a bigger, longer duration. Yeah. I think that needing like i think a lot of or like at least for necro putting movement speed on amulet is a little bit weird but i don't know it's just necessary yeah yeah <laughs> you need to run movement speed there I, I, i'm dro i dropped my movement speed in the amulet because i have like an insane amulet but insane amulet mm -hmm. that's so much damage but otherwise i will never drop it and because i'm i'm moves really fast already <laughs> Yeah. It's like a... I also think the capping movement speed at... I also think in general, putting a move, movement speed cap on your... Like a hard cap on how much movement bonus movement speed a character can acquire is kind of lame. Especially when it's only 100%. Like, uh, for instance, it's a little bit, it's a little bit sad because like a... Uh, Lost Ark also has a movement speed cap. Actually, only, you actually only get 40% bonus movement speed. Yeah, that, that awful. It's a little bit smudge, because you're like, there are actually a lot of ways to like, move faster, but like, characters hit that movement speed cap pretty easily, and you're like, well, rip. Because there are actually some classes that could, could go past it, if they found it valuable. And there's also damage things that scale with movement speed, and it's like, How much I'm looking at? tapping at 40 uh, is annoying. Maybe I'm not that fast that I thought. I mean, you're pretty fast. I could tell you from watching from the floor, you're a lot faster than my Necro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I should spend a lot of gold trying to get the correct role in this one. Mm -hmm. To get the extra 25% on the speed. Because I'm, I'm base moving on... 150 around. Hmm. That's pretty fast. Yeah, but I should be able to move faster. Like a melee rogue, with my melee rogue, I move all the time on 180. You don't have to get like but move. No, no, you don't no, need... all the time, but. Yeah. You don't have to get like movement yeah. speed any from any buff then. You just have it up all the time. No, no, I, I just have it with momentum. It's up. But momentum is almost up all the time. Yeah. But here I don't have momentum. And I don't want to spend points on 15% here. Just to get moments before 4 seconds. Because 4 seconds is so annoying. Yeah. And this is at 20%. Yeah, it's at 20%. This is at 15. 35. And... Yep. 
35 and that it is so yeah i need i need to change this boots boots are are bad I, they're just bad i, I need to get a, a new boots <laughs> yeah i, I got a couple good ones but I, I i want the perfect one i i would go to the trade sites and buy a, a one buy one yeah i have like I mean, my move is I have uh, the max roll on boots and then like a mid tier roll on my amulet. Maybe I just use this one. I replace the the power and use this one. The old one. The slow duration reduction. That's kind of fucking stupid roll. Yeah, maybe. Nah, just, just I just need to get a, good, uh, a better one. <laughs> yeah, the only time I kind of move fast on necro is when I have. I have the buff for after I kill an elite, I get the movement speed. That's like, I go to I go to like one like one seventy five percent or something. That's my that's my movement speed for four seconds, and then I'm back to being like one thirty five or whatever it is, one forty. 